See how many spiders I just lodge. Okay. No, I haven't been in this car for ages. Ages. Look, there's a spider web in my footwell. There's probably spider webs all in here. Where are we? There. One hundred. Where are we? There. Okay. Right. Get the battery in. See if it starts. <laughs> now, if this battery still works, it's been charged. But if it still works, as soon as I connect that, the alarm should go off. Should. Yep, there we go. No. Oh, it works. Unless the battery just completely died. She unlocks. Does she start? No. Battery dead. Okay, need a new battery. That sucks. New battery. Just nipped out the Eurocar part. Picked up this new battery, so 50 quid lighter, but the car should start. Let's see. That works fine. Can I, can I get that in? CD player's having a fifth. Uh, and she starts up with no petrol whatsoever. Okay, gonna have to get some petrol. Um, Okay, still got those error codes. <clears throat> okay, basically, it hasn't been used in eight months, nine months, because of these error codes. And what it is, is the steering angle sensor. It's not calibrated. The steering rack wasn't put in when it was changed in the correct position, so I've got to take it back out and do it myself. And then I can get it calibrated, get it aligned and get it MOT'd. But at least she starts. I'll have to go and get some petrol. And then I'll change all the fluids, pump the tyres up and go from there. More to come. Bonus. Found some goodies in the boot. Got some gearbox oil, filters. Just need to get some engine oil. Be good to go. Five litres down, still one more. I'm going to have to go and get some more. Okay, okay, maybe it was a bit hasty. Now it's had time to uh, warm up a bit. Uh, I've got a bit of petrol, but still need some more. Still need more. Oh, um, oil should be here Thursday, so I'll get that done and then finish this vlog off, I guess. Okay, it's the weekend now. Wow, is my camera just steamed up? Why is my camera steaming up? 
Okay, anyway, my camera's steaming up for some reason. But it's the weekend now. Got all, all, got all the oil, and um, yeah, time to change it. Fresh fluids in there, and then I can progress with the rest of it. So let's go. Don't know where my uh, jacks are. This is the part that sucks the most on the Corolla oil filter. It is up there somewhere. Can't see. Can I see him out? Turn it. Well, you can just about see it. Up there. There. It's where the oil filter sits. So as soon as you undo it, oil pours down your hand, gets everywhere. I don't know why they put it like that, but it's shit. Okay, engine oil's changed. Just let it run for a bit. Let it all settle, check the level. That'll be done. Uh, while I'm here, let's just check the air box. See what the filter's like in here. Uh, might have to put you down. Too bad. It's a little dirty. Got some bits in. It's not too bad. I do have a spare though. So put the spare in. Then it will clean. I'm actually looking forward to getting them back on the road. Um, so yeah, next up, going to clean up all the brakes and change the fluid. Because they've been sitting for a while, so a bit rusty. So I'm going to clean them up, grease them up, change fluid. That's the brakes. Then need to sort the steering rack out, which is the main fault. Um, which I might be able to get away with relocating the steering wheel maybe I'm gonna try that if not I'm gonna have to get the rack out and refit it back in the right position keep following for more updates and I've also got to do one for that right there because I have two cars that one the Civic is gonna be my track toy so Corolla daily Civic trap door. I'm a Honda guy at heart, by the way. So yeah, like it, thumbs up. Don't like it, I guess, thumbs down. Keep following for more. Um, got a lot to do. 
So yeah, see you next time.